Hello, welcome to the Robotics Interest Group. My name is Raise Jessafala, and this is the first session. Well, before we dive into the first session, I'd like to give you an overview of what this Robotics Interest Group is actually all about. Well, this is like an introductory course to the logic of robotics. How does it all work? What architectures are used? What control systems work for which kind of robots? I mean, as you can imagine, a chess playing robot is not the same as some autonomous robot which actually moves around and expects feedback using sensors and real-time acknowledgement of its environment. So which system works for which? How does each control system actually work? We'll be talking about the navigation of robots. We'll be talking about some of things like group robotics. We'll be exploring the physical part, the uh, components making up a robot, all the sensors, how they work. We'll be exploring the locomotion. We'll be exploring uh, just a lot of things to help you think, like think better about how to make a good robot or just a robot. All the things that you don't actually think are quite important. We'll be trying to put them into perspective and giving you a clear overview of uh, what building a robot is actually all about. Well, in this first session, we'll be just trying to understand what a robot is. We'll be reviewing some of the history of robotics. We'll try to catch up with what people around the world are currently doing in this field. We'll be discussing some of the ethics and the concerns regarding this field. I mean, just imagine. We, it's inevitable to actually think about things like the Terminator. Yes, that idea that the machines we're building today could actually destroy us in the future. That's actually quite a concern for some people. It's an issue. So we'll be discussing some of those things and we'll be trying to just understand what some of the components making up a robot are and we'll try to make robots with goals. This is like our ultimate goal for this interest group. So there are two parts to this interest group. We have the content, including the slides, and the practical component. So the content and the slides are largely based on work by, like work from a book by Materic Major. The name of the book is called The Robotics Primer. And then we have the practical component. This is where we'll be applying what we are learning into like a physical, like a real project. Like that's like our main goal to complete a certain project. The specifics will be laid out later. But then we have turtle bots, we have drones, we have Lego bots, which we can actually play around with, with be like within the the practical time, and that's how the interest group will actually roll out. So, what is robotics? I mean, we've been hearing robotics everywhere, but the word robot actually originates from a Dutch word, robota, meaning obligatory work. So, robotics is actually the science or the study of the technology associated with the fabrication, the design, the theory, and the application of robots. So what we'll be doing in this interest group, we'll be trying to build autonomous robots. Yes, your C-3PO, your, yeah, your Terminator robots kind of thing. That's that kind of, that's, those are actually autonomous systems. And what we actually mean by that is that they can actually exist in the physical world they can see the environment and they can actually interact with the environment to achieve certain goals. That's what an autonomous system is. So we have existing in the world. This means that this, the system should be um, subjected to physical world challenges like gravity and other forces. If it's flying or if it's in water, it should be able to see the environment. I mean, it should be able to feel if it's bumping into a wall or if it sees something and it should be able to react to whatever it's actually experiencing in the environment to actually achieve certain goals. Those are what we call autonomous systems. So opposite to that, we have remote controlled robots. Those are those kind of robots you used to play with when you were a kid. You were the one who was actually seeing the world around it and moving it. I mean, if it's stuck in some corner somewhere, it won't move itself back. You were supposed to take that remote control and then move back 
it would do certain ways to actually get it out of that tight spot. So th- those are the kind of robots we are not going to be building. But otherwise, in general, we just have mobile robots, we have stationary robots, and we have virtual robots. So your mobile robots should be those with legs or wheels to actually move around the environment. And then you have your stationary robots. So these are like your robotics arms. They can actually move around, but then they're stationary and doing some work. So your assembly type of robots in factories, those are actually quite stationary and we have virtual robots as well. So these are like software programs type of robots, like your web crawlers. They don't actually exist in the environment, but then they do achieve certain goals. Why do we need robots? And you might ask yourself this question. We have people already doing this work. We have people thinking. We have people putting things together, like assembling things. We have people cleaning things up. We have people just doing hard labor at the moment. And we can do this. Why do we need robots? Well, if you think about it, what about the like dangerous work that we... It's kind of not fair to actually put people on the line of doing such dangerous work such as cleaning up radioactive waste or exploring planets we know nothing about i mean why don't we just chuck in a robot there and then it does work quite fast more accurately and it can like we don't actually have to worry about health or um, being injured or any other issues that we have to actually take into account when we are dealing with human beings I mean, they do such great work and they can actually do repetitive tasks really, really well. So why not use robots? I mean, we can just fix them when they're broken, unlike human beings. You should check out some of the links I've put out to interesting videos of what's currently happening within the robotic space. We have humanoids. So these are like human inspired robots. They're designed to actually mimic human behavior. So they look they even in some cases they actually look like human beings they try speak like human beings and they actually try act think like human beings so we have sophia the robot it's like one of the latest in within the artificial intelligence space well there are like some controversial um thoughts on that i mean uh, if we have some of the problem with like some of the problems people have with robots is that we have to teach them what's right and wrong and at the end they should be able to make their own decisions and because they're machines they could be equipped to try put out wrong and save right and yeah what happens when they develop to such an extent that they can make decisions on what's wrong and maybe what's wrong is what's right and they maybe um, kill human beings or they hurt human beings because they think it's right to do that so those are some of the issues people have with these humanoids I mean the Terminator that's what eventually happened Uh, that's what people are actually scared of when we are actually developing this field of robotics so we have Sophia the humanoid. So yeah, within that space, we have military robots as well. So these are like four-legged robots, which can actually move through extreme terrains in the icy, la- icy lands. We have rocky, mountainous areas. They can actually climb stairs and climb mountains and things like that, like steep hill. Okay, not so steep, but yes, um, difficult steep hills to actually climb on so they're actually designed to actually help um, soldiers when they are like within war zones and they're trying to survive so they carry the heavy things and um, in some cases the injured soldier they can actually carry to maybe a safe space so we also have the Amazon Prime Air to help deliver things around we have the TU Delft ambulance drone so just imagine you have um, there's like an accident and just think about the time taken for the ambulance to actually arrive and help the injured people so these people actually said why not have this drone drive over we have 
like look at the situation and try to help like while we're reading tell the person the people what like try and instruct the people who are there on what to do while they're waiting for the the ambulance to actually arrive we could save millions of lives so we have we also have like robots which nasa deployed out into mars to help just check out mars and do some tests and uh, do some evaluations instead of sending people to this unknown p- uh, place for like days and days and months we can just send robots to help give us feedback on what's happening there so these are some of the interesting things happening in this robotics field must make you excited so the first robot was built by Akaitis of Tarentum so it was called the pigeon so he constructed a, his bed out of wood and used steam to actually power the movement of the robot so this was then suspended from like a pivot bar and poof there it was our first robot so from then we've actually grown the field to the amazing robots i've just spoken about where it's mostly ai but then otherwise it's within the fold of robotics where we have amazing things being done when we have robots to be cleaning up radioactive waste have them assembling accurately things in factories we have them exploring mars and other planets we have them doing amazing things and now they're helping out with um, certain medicine within um, household use to help you navigate and do other things and that's just what we'll be diving into within this interest group so just to give you like a recap of what we've been talking about so we've tried to understand what a robot is what robotics is and how it actually works around we have given you like a brief history of robotics and what people are currently doing in this field we have discussed some of the ethics and concerns i mean the terminator the idea of ai it's still an opinion at the end of the day um you have the last blow on your opinion I mean, it's your judgment, but then, well, there was an interesting debate on AI. Is it actually a good thing? I mean, uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk have been saying, Mark saying AI is a great field, then Elon going against it. But then um, you have the final blow on your opinion. Like I said, it's such a great field, but it has its downside. But then otherwise, in the next coming videos, we'll be trying to understand the logic of robots and we'll be diving into the components of making up robots, all the sensors, all the physical components, your actuators and effectors, and we'll be ultimately trying to make robots with goals. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next session.